So this poem by Muriel Stewart, who was born in 1889, is entitled In the Orchard. And I, I want you to notice before I even read it, these little uh, marks, tallies, and how that works. There, there we go. Make a big arrow here. How that works is it shows when one person is speaking and the next person begins to speak. And it's not the double tallies for when we're quoting somebody, like even somebody will do air quotes with their hands because it's all in one paragraph and we do the single when someone is quoting somebody else. So it's as though it's just uh, a collection of a conversation between two people and they're right on top of each other. Okay, so in the orchard, I thought you loved me. No, it was only fun. When we stood there, closer than all, well, the harvest moon was shining and queer in your hair, and it, it turned my head. That made you? Yes. Just the moon and the light it made upon the tree under the tree? Well, your mouth, too. Yes, my mouth. And the quiet there that sang like the drum in the booth. You shouldn't have danced like that. Like what? So close with your head turned up and the flower in your hair, a rose that smelt all warm. I loved you. I thought you knew I wouldn't have danced like that with any but you. Well, I didn't know. I thought you knew it was fun. I thought it was love you meant. Well, it's done. Yes, it's done. I've seen boys stone a blackbird and watch them drown a kitten. It clawed at the reeds and they pushed it down into the pool while it screamed. Is that fun too? Well, boys are like that. Your brothers, yes, I know. But you, so lovely and strong, not you, not you. They don't understand it's cruel. It's only a game. And are girls fun too? No, but still in a way, it's the same. It's queer and lovely to have a girl. Go on. Makes you mad for a bit and to feel she's your own. And you laugh and kiss her and maybe you give her a ring, but it's only fun. But I gave you everything. Well, you shouldn't have done it. You know what a fellow thinks when a girl does that? Yeah, he talks of her over his drinks and calls her. Stop that now. I thought you knew. Well, it wasn't with anyone else. It was only you. Well, how did I know? I thought you wanted it too. I thought you were like the rest. Well, what's to be done? To be done? Is it all right? Yes. Sure? Yes, but why? I don't know. I, I thought you were going to cry. You said you had something to tell me. Yes, I know. It, it, it wasn't anything really. I, I think I'll go. Yes, it's late. There's thunder about a drop of rain fell on my hand in the dark. I'll see you again at the dance next week. You sure that everything's right? Yes. Well, I'll be going. Kiss me. Good night. Good night. Now, what really helps, and I did do this for you, is to take the poem and to underline the different speakers, to highlight actually the different speakers. That's really going to help you. I did pink for the female character. And how do I know she's female? Is because she's talking about um, things like that boys do. Um, I've seen boys. So clearly she's not a boy. Um, so this is a conversation between male and a female, two people. And obviously they are, there's been a miscommunication. A misunderstanding is a better way to say it because nothing was really verbally communicated. For whatever happened last night, what is it that happened last night? Well, all I know, and this is what I love about poetry, is that you're just hinted at things. When she says things like, I gave you everything, um, and he says, well, you shouldn't have done it. There it is. I gave you everything. And he's like, well, you shouldn't have done it. And they're saying things like, I thought I loved you. And also there's an, an implication that there could be something bigger here. When she says, um, when he says, I thought you had something to tell me. And she says, um, it wasn't anything really. I think I'll go. 
So maybe it was really something she was going to say. Maybe something did develop out of this relationship. She gave him everything. So that's implied that they had a very, very close relationship. I want you to notice also, if we just look at how this is laid out, the pink, she is saying less and less as the poem goes on. Less and less and less. And isn't she a lot like that kitten or that bird? This is cruel what's happening to her. She has no control over it. It's cruelty. And probably less and less crying from that animal, which is awful to think of. Sorry to make you think of that, but it's true. Um, she's identifying with this feeling of this is just this is just fun. And I thought you knew it was just fun. It's not going to, I didn't intend it to mean anything. And she obviously wants it to mean more. One other thing I'm going to point out is a drop of rain on his hand in the dark. And he already says before that, I thought you were going to cry. Maybe she is. Um, I love this part because it's so true. We're, so we're, yellow is the boy where he says, I'll see you again at the dance next week. You're sure that everything's right. This is very typical that a guy is saying, um, you're not going to make a scene at the dance next week, right? Are we good? Because that is like the kiss of death for a male is for some woman to go crazy on him publicly um, where he looks foolish. So he's just, oh, we're good, right? Like this isn't going to happen again. I'm going to see you at the dance. We're all clear. We're all, it's all fine. Okay. And then she does say, kiss me. Um, but it seems to be over with. They've come to some sort of understanding that nothing is going to develop from this. So I put a couple notes down here for you to look at. In addition to this video, there's probably a lot online. I found this website, which you can click on here to go visit, but it gives you, this is the beginning of the website. You could go through and look at it if you wanted to. And that is the end.